I got a question for you. If I gave you $1,440, what would you do with it? Would you spend it? Maybe save it? Maybe invest it in something? What would that kind of money mean to you? Right? I think that's a lot of money. That's a chunk of change. Really think about that. What would that kind of money mean to you? So this whole idea that I'm about to talk to you about came about from, I was looking at my spending a couple weeks ago and I realized that since the start of the year, I've reduced my spending, um, you know, across gas, groceries, uh, you know, overall spending in general by about 40 to 50%, which is like pretty substantial. And, you know, I've been tracking my spending down to the dollar for the last, you know, two or three months pretty consistently. Uh, Cause that was something I was trying to do is reduce my spending. And it kind of got me to thinking, you know, if I'm this conscious with how I spend my money, why am I not this conscious with how I spend my time? And, you know, especially if you're young, it's hard to really internalize the value of your time. Um, and so in my head, I kind of made up this, this idea of how, how, I could convert that time into something that made more sense and really learn the value of that time. So I'm not like wasting more time. So this is what I came up with. So if you think of every minute, like a dollar, so there's 1,440 minutes in a day. So if every day you were given $1,440 and you were given $1,440 the day before, the day before that, the day before that, and you're given $1,440 today, and you know, you're know you probably gonna be given $1,440 tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that, would you really be that cautious and like thoughtful of how you spend that money each day if you knew that, oh, tomorrow, you know, you're gonna get the same amount? And, you know, it got me to thinking about my grocery stuff. It's like, okay, I care about saving this $30 you know, on this grocery trip, but comparatively speaking, like the whole day is $1,440. So do I really value that $30 more than this $1,440 that are like within the day? And so that kind of made sense to me because, you know, we kind of take time for granted, especially if we're, when we're young, you know, you don't really have that much experience. Um, you had time yesterday, you're going to have time today. You're probably gonna have time tomorrow. Uh, we kind of take it for granted and putting time into like a dollar amount for me really helped me realize the value of the time that you have with, you know, in the day. And with that time, instead of spending it, right? Because if you're going to get it tomorrow, oh, who cares if I spend it today? Because I'm going to have it tomorrow. You know, what if I just invested that money, right? What if I just invest that money that I got for that day, right? Minutes, the time, right? Time, money, same thing. What if I just invested that now instead of, you know, spending the next, you know, five years, 10 years, whatever, just kind of aimlessly trotting through life, not really um, consciously spending my time. But what if I took that time and invested it into things like um, you know, a, a business or, you know, maybe you do school or something like that, but you consciously invest that time into other things over the course of five to 10 years, that snowball is going to be massive. And so if you're to realize, you know, if you start investing that time now, right, being more diligent and, and conscious and really guarding your time and investing it rather than you know, screwing off and like leading it to distractions and like just wasting time on dumb things that aren't important. Um, if you do that now, rather than like five years from now, you know, compound effect of investing your time into something, it's going to absolutely dwarf the amount of whatever you'd be able to achieve, you know, in that five year period, um, right? Just the compound effect, right? It's exponential that five years makes a huge difference. So the earlier, you stop wasting time and invest that, you know, into more productive things, the better. And the real like obstacle in the way of all this is distractions, right? So I know for myself, like I don't watch TV or play games or anything. I think that stuff's kind of stupid. Um, the only things that 
only like distractions that I'd say I really have going on are like Snapchat, getting stuck in like a death scroll on Instagram, um, people occasionally, but that's like, cause I, you know, do whatever, I waste time. Um, that's kind of it. But, you know, I use my time, you know, doing school, whatever. I'm an engineering student, so that takes a lot of time. Um, working out, you know, those are the things that I'm investing in, right? I'm using those 1,440 minutes in the day to invest it in my body, in my academics, you know, in my YouTube channel, like what I'm doing right now, recording this video. So what are your distractions? Like, what are the things that are really just sucking your time? that are not going to contribute to like your betterment in the future. Right, I know social media is a big one, right? If you play, you know, games, whatever, that's probably another big one. TV, TV is such a time suck. Um, and it's hard because a lot of those things are just quick dopamine hits, right? It's a lot easier to just scroll on Instagram than like going for a three hour hike. But at the end of the three hour hike, after accomplishing that, that dopamine hit is so much more meaningful than like scrolling on Instagram for like an hour, you know, something to think about. So I guess my question to you is what are you investing your time in and what kind of ROI are you going to get out of that, you know, in the next two months, six months, year, five years, 10 years down the road, what's that going to do? Because the earlier you can start doing these kinds of things, like using your time more productively, like you're going to be so much more better off in the future. Right. And like, this is challenging. Like I get stuck in like Instagram death scrolls. Um, I waste time all the time. Like I, it's very challenging, right. With all our technology and phones and stuff, like it's really easy to just kind of give your time away for free. Um, but if you could use that time to put into something that's going to make yourself better in the future, I think that's 100% worth it and something that we should definitely as a society be doing more of. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if you haven't already, you know, maybe subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos. Comment something down below and uh, like the video. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.